grandma's house was always open to all of our visitors who would come. You know, food always brings people together, and I think that's what's been amazing with this cookbook. My daughter was asking me, Mom, when I go to college, am I going to have all these recipes written down so I can start making them? And that's when it really dawned on me that, wow, we don't have any of these recipes written down, and it would be nice to have them in a book. My mother, every time that she had family at the house, friends or whoever came over, she would always say, come in, sit down, and have something to eat. Está muy bueno. <laughs> <laughs> recipe we try to recall the memory from our childhood that goes with that recipe. We're leaving a little timeline of ourselves and our grandma and a little memory book in food and love and family get together because it's one thing to just have the recipe but it's another thing to share the stories that we have with grandma and with each other with our kids. So we're leaving a little bit of our family heritage in each one of the stories that goes with the recipe. Growing up, Grandma always had fresh flour tortillas, homemade tortillas made every day, and she would have salsa casera. She would just grind everything with her hands. She would just, you know, squeeze the chile, and you could see the chile coming down her fingers, and oh, that salsa with the fresh flour tortilla with the <laughs> salsa it was so good. The vegetables that she used in, the, in her kitchen were always tomatoes, chili, and beans every day. The <laughs> beans, beans are used every day. If you've got beans, <laughs> you've got a meal. <laughs> and the vegetables that she used in, the, in her kitchen were always fresh. fresh. Mm -hmm. And she would do everything by hand. When Grandma passed away, Mom said, is there anything that was that grandma left behind that you would like? And the first thing I thought of was her rolling pin because we both have fond memories of the rolling pin we each got. That's what inspired me. One day I just saw it in the kitchen and I said, I need to keep these recipes alive. So now as moms, we want to pass it on to our children that eating fresh and this nice movement that we have going on now with fresh farmers markets because that's what's growing now and that's how you should eat. Everybody has their own unique take on the same recipe, but they're feeling the love that we did. So it's reminding them the importance of, of family and bringing food together and bringing uh, the family together because of food, which is the beauty of this whole thing.